Why would Barrick do this deal? Uh, good morning, Alex. Good morning, David. So uh, Barrick is looking quite intently at the Crown Jewel is their uh, Nevada operations, the ability for Barrick and Newmont to combine those operations and extract quite a bit of value. So if you look through the $7.5 billion NPV and go through some of the numbers that Barrick has put forth in the last couple hours when they announced this, uh, the proposal, uh, the bulk of it is getting synergies out of that Nevada, those combined Nevada operations. Is it going to happen? Is what going to happen? Is the deal going to happen? Oh, so it's I will, up to the shareholders. Um, so the market, you know, the no premium deal certainly was announced, but the market is implying that, you know, Newmont's about a 10% greater price than what the deal would anticipate. So my guess this is a, an early offer for, for uh, Barrick, and, and uh, Newmont certainly has not had a chance to, to refute this. My guess is they will re reject this uh, pretty aggressively. Um, uh, they'll be out with some comments, I'm sure, later this morning at the BMO conference to, to highlight their thoughts on this, but uh, it, at the end of the day, it's going to probably be up to the shareholders of each company whether they can uh, get the deal done. But in your judgment, is the market telling us that a barracks going to up its bid, or is it saying there's another bidder out there that might come in higher? No, I don't think, uh, David, there's another bid up or higher. My guess is the, this is a first salvo, and uh, there'll be a negotiation or, you know, in the public or private domain relative to uh, to potentially a higher bid for, for Newmont Asset. Uh, when you take a look at management, right, so if we just backtrack for a second, uh, sure. Barrick Gold brought Rangold Resources, then the CEO of Rangold Resources became the CEO of the joint company, and that's Mark Bristow. Uh, personally, I was surprised that Mark Bristow would want to do this kind of deal to be this big when Rangold was a much smaller yeah. mid-tier kind of company. Walk me through kind of the culture change and yeah. if that made any sense to you. Yeah, good, good, good question, Alex. Yeah, I think Barrick needed the structure and discipline and the success that Mark Bristow, who's a CEO, was CEO of Grangle, now the CEO of, of Combined Barrick, brought to Barrick's assets and to its operations and its financial profile. So Barrick was crying out for a need for leadership, and they were able to get that through the semi, I would argue, reverse takeover. Um, Bristow is looking to further enhance synergies and value for the industry, which quite honestly over the past several you know, decades has been one that has uh, destroyed more capital than has created um, value for shareholders. Um, and that's a general statement, but, uh, but I think Bristol's trying to look and try to look at the industry and drive it differently uh, with uh, opportunities to extract that value. So I can, I can see why he would want to uh, try to do something here with Newmont. So uh, Mike, when you take a look at the industry, we saw a t ton of M&A heat up at the end of last year and beginning of this year, but the yep. conversation became about the mid-tier companies like an Nico yeah. Eagle and if that was the combination that was going to take place not a Newmont and Barrick uh, what's going to yeah. be the conversation over the next six months now well certainly I think more on the Newmont Barrick and how that's going to play out because there'll be asset potential spin-offs and opportunities and rationalizations and asset sales not only from a Barrick Newmont but looking remember Newmont has an, a, a negoti an agreement to merge with Gold Corp which is going to look to asset monetize and improve value from the shareholders. So Newmont has a transaction going on right now that they're very supportive of. Um, you know, the Barrick, uh, Barrick management and folks are going to have to, uh, you know, get folks to think differently about Newmont Gold Corp relative to a Newmont Barrick. But yeah. I think that's where a lot of the folks are going to be. Yeah, the mid-tier issues, uh, there's always issues that just doesn't allow that to occur. And uh, some are doing yeah. quite well. I think Nico's doing quite well on its own.